a show that teaches you how to improve your physical, emotional, and intellectual health. Here's your host, Brenda Harper. Good morning. You're listening to 580 KIDO. I'm your host, Brenda Harper, and this is Peace of Mind, the program where we talk about the many pieces of physical, intellectual, and emotional health and how they all fit together in very interactive ways. So I uh, really had a very interesting week time to do our um, spotlight on wellness. And, you know, it's been several months since we've talked about uh, breast awareness, but um, this is a good time of year to, to be aware of um, mammograms and a, a much safer and uh, earlier detection is actually um, you can find it Ann Hike. She is a local um, MD naturopathic uh, doctor as well. And we're going to play a clip from Ann and let you know all about the medication. Now, back to Brenda Harper and Peace of Mind on KITO. It's all here. Good morning. You're listening to 580 KITO. I'm your host, Brenda Harper, and this is Peace of Mind. Today, we're going to be talking about. Um, something that all of us are going to face unless we die young. So that is living with age and how to age with dignity and grace. Our um, guest today is Dr. Eric Sh um, Sh Shapiro. Am I saying that right? I want to welcome yes, you, you again, uh, Dr. Shapiro, and thank you so much for giving up your time and your oh, Saturday thanks. to be with us. Thanks, Brenda. It's a pleasure to be with you. All right. What's the uh, best advice that, that you can give us on how to age gracefully? Oh, the best advice, stay alive. <laughs> uh, there's, a, there's a quote I like, it's by uh, uh, an educator by the name of Barbara D'Angelo. She said, the journey in between what you once were and who you are now becoming is where the dance of life really takes place. And that's in my book. And it's a very, very um, significant uh, comment because, you know, it forces us to live in the now. And I think people need to know. Um because putting our children in that place of having to make choices for us when they really don't know what we really want? Well, that's why family meetings are important. Uh, I, I actually went through this last year with my, my own mom. She's 88 years young, and she's uh, very cognitive. And in, in, when, you, when you have parents who are cognitive, it's very important for them to make the decision, not the children. Uh, the children need to remember that. So. All you parents out there listening, make sure your children know that you can think for yourself and that you're an adult and uh, you can be responsible for yourself. However, if there's some cognitive deficit, and we know that for a fact, then children should be involved in, in helping make the decision. So I said helping. I didn't think often um, pick up on most is guilt, and then they kind of uh, really magnify that. And I, I do want to invite listeners. We'd love to hear from you if you have questions, if you have um stories that you want to share with us. Uh, if anything, we'd really like to hear if you have a question for the doctor. And the number is 580-5436. So, uh, Dr. Scott oh. Grant, he's my family dentist. He should be yours. Check out IdahoFamilyDentist.com and call now, 888-1195. Make the switch now. Call 888-1195. Back to Brenda Harper and Peace of Mind on KIDO. It's all here. Welcome back to Peace of Mind. We're talking about uh, growing older today and uh, the many options there. I do want to remind folks that um, Dad's gluten-free pizza crust is one of the best gluten-free items out there. They are wonderful. You can learn more about them at glutenfreepizza.com or pizza. I just absolutely love them. And we're going to give away uh, a couple of crusts. So all you have to do is give us a call at 580-540-8383. And after that to our uh, program, we're talking with Dr. Shapiro. We're talking about aging and yeah, a very right delightful now. book. is called A New Marine Book. Yeah, yeah, peace of mind. Family. You're the fourth caller. Entertaining, I laughed a lot. I mean, All right, can I hear full name, please? So, uh, Dr. Shapiro, you're going to be talking about aging and living with dignity and grace. Yeah, and that's what I wrote it. Yeah, 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 that's what I wr
Well, what are you really angry about? Do you, yeah. still, you still haven't owned anything. You're just trying to get her to identify uh, what good, she's doing. Good morning, Kelly. We have another caller. Okay. Hi, good morning. Yeah, good you're well. my radio. Thank you so much. Um, I'm calling because I have been a medical social worker in the Valley for about 20 years. Nobody. And since about 13 of those uh, making home visits as social worker to mostly geriatric folks and their adult children. And um, I agree that these conversations are happening ahead of time. And when the crisis occurs, it, it is um, such a blessing for everybody involved in the elder person's life when those decisions are talked about ahead of time. I was trying to acknowledge how difficult your job is sometimes and how difficult mine is as well, because we do similar things. But I really admire what you do. And I think this whole thing is predicated on patience. And when you have a caring, loving family, like this woman who just called that wants to do something for their parent, and the parent is totally uh, anti-change, it becomes quite difficult. And then you're forced to deal with a lot of anger and a lot of negativity. And right. that, uh, people don't understand you know, where that comes from. And uh, right. 